Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Tama Stitches. So today we're going to be drafting a bubu kimono dress. Bubu kimono dress. If you're joining us for the first time, please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell so that once we upload any new video, you'll be forced to watch it. So our bubu kimono dress, kimono means cutting the neck and the shoulder together. That's a kimono. So now because I want to, to draw to cut a kimono, this will not be enough. If I fold it, you are supposed to fold it into two. If I fold it into two, I will not get the required sleeve I want. So I'm going to be cutting it in one. Then I will fold the wrap material and cut it on the material. So I'm going to start from the front. Now, for you to get the measurement you need, you need to know where you want your sleeve to stop. So from the center of your back, from the center of your back neck, you move it down to where the sleeve, you want the sleeve to stop. Then you take that measurement. For, for this one I'm doing today, I want the sleeve to stop at 18. So what that means is that I'm going to be when I come to my shoulder, I'll be marking 18 inches. So I mark my 18 inches. Okay, this is my 18 inches. Then I'll do my usual measurements also, which is 3 inches neck and shoulder of 8 inches. I need those guides as I'm working on this kimono. So I now take my vertical measurement. We we'll have our nine inch for our armhole. We we'll have our half length as seventeen. We we'll have our hip as twenty five. And the full length I'm using here is thirty five. Then two inch folding allowance. So let me move them out. So this is our chest line, call it chest line C. This is our half length, which is the waist. This is our hip, which is H. Then here is our hemming line. That's the full length. So for my shoulder slant now, let me, I'm gonna be taking one inch, then I'll roll it straight down. Take one inch here, and I'll connect it straight down to the, to the 18 inches. That I took because of this sleeve. Okay. So now this is what I have. And the neck depth I'm using for back, I'll be using one and a half inches. Then for the front, I'll be using four and a half inches. So I use my cuff, if you can see. Connect them. So I've done my neckline, the front and the back. Now let's insert our measurement. For the shoulder, we've already inserted the shoulder. This is where the shoulder is going to stop. Then the chest line, I can. Insert my bust in my chest line. The bust we are using here is 42. 42 divided by 4 plus 1.5 sewing, sewing allowance. 42 divided by 4 plus 1.5 sewing allowance. Because I want it to be free. I've got my bust here. Now I will go straight to the hip. The hip I'm using here is 48. 48 divided by 4 plus 1 and a half sewing allowance. Okay. 
I'll take it still same thing down. But when I come to the hemming side now, I'll be minusing one and a half inch. That will be giving me from my hip. I will minus one and a half inch. So I'll now be inserting 12 and a half here. I want it to be a bit a little bit tip tapered down here. The same thing to the hemming. So let me join them and show you how it looks. Now you can see how it looks. Let me insert my armhole so now i'm going to measure from my where the shoulder slant stops to where the armhole is sitting well i would like to use eight inches i'm using eight inches okay so let me roll out that line So if I'm using 8 inches, that is here. So I need to connect this sleeve to the armhole here. So on the measurement I have here, from here to here is 18. So let me get that same 18 here. Here is my 18. But I will come in by one and a half inch so I can sit in well. So I join it together. So, but now to connect this now to this, I have to curve it a little. I need to curve it a little. Look at how we curved it in here. The sleeve coming down to join the body here so this is what we have let me cut it out so that i'll show you before i cut it on the material so i have cut it off look at it and see how beautiful it looks join into the body here the sleeve together with the body our kimono so now i want to cut it down to show you how i cut it down you need to fold in this you know, I put two lines here. This is for folding it in. So I fold it in like this. Put in the second line in. Then trace it out. So that by the time you put the material, it can sit in well. So this is what I have. I've cut it out here. people might decide they want to shape here the waist but it's a boo boo i don't think if you want to you can come in by one and a half inch or one one and a half inch is okay then you now shape it to join the sleeve if you want or else you leave it like this so it will not be that fitted it's meant to be free it's a boo boo so watch while i cut it on the material i'm going to use this front to cut the back then i'm going to be adding Shoulder allowance. I didn't add it here. I will add it to it once I cut this. I finished cutting it and I've cut the facing of the front. So I put a slit in front. I'm going to be leaving it open. Here is my facing. I use a different material to cut the same thing. So what I need to do now is to put some gum stay here. I'm going to be leaving this facing in front just to give it a different design then don't forget after putting a, a gummy a stay here you're going to be folding this a little stitch it down put the gum fold it in and then attach to the body of the material so it's round after turning it with this then the same thing you do for this the back 
this is the back and the facing put some este on it use it to turn it then place it same way at the back too I'll be putting a patch pocket by the side so that's that simple once you finish your front facing and then join the shoulders together then bring out the body so if this tutorial has been helpful this kimono bubu dress please give us a thumbs up put any comment on the comments uh, section there like subscribe and press the notification bell so that as we upload new videos, you'll be notified immediately. Thank you.